Hello friends, uh, welcome to Tech Lake video tutorials. In this video, I'm going to give you more uh, information about uh, complex JSON process. So I have done one video on uh, how to uh, convert a semi-structured format to structured format uh, while processing in JSON, like uh, complex data types, like um, uh, array data types, struct data types. So that manual process have uh, explained in one of the video that you can find in my PySpark real time scenarios, 13th video, how to handle complex JSON data file. And uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to give you more information about uh, how to handle the same thing in a dynamically. So consider if you have a JSON file and that JSON file is having uh, array and struct data types and if you want to flat run those data types dynamically so array means python list and the struct is a PySpark another data type where one it will have a one column with it that another column that is nested column nested values nested nested column nested values nested values means array nested columns means struct so how to handle that how to implement that which i am going to give you with a simple example so I have uh, another uh, Git repository. There I'm having uh, some sample files. And my repository, uh, here you can find the PySpark Telugu. And my account name is uh, Ravindra TL. There you can go and uh, verify some data file called uh, sample JSON. If you go here, you can find a sample JSON. So this semi-structured data, I'm going to read and create a data frame. And I'm going to explain you with the two functions i'm going to call uh, even you can use a recursive uh, option like python is a programming language you can use a recursive function like calling the same function again and again internally or you can go with the two functions so what i'm doing here um this is a data file i'm going to create same data i copied and uh, using uh, dbutils dot efs dot put i'm creating a json file and you can read that you can read that json file and create a data frame and the data is in multiple lines always remember use option multi line true and i'll show you the data first i'll show you the data first and finally i'll show you the metadata as well so here you see this satellite is a array type and goods is a struct type okay these two columns are normal flat and structured columns so if you verify this data frame metadata I'll just use a print schema. It will give you complete internal schema. You see this satellites is array type and uh, goods. You see the struct type inside that again array type. Again, few array again, few are uh, struct types are there. So how to uh, dynamically how to dynamically convert this struct and array types into structured format like this name and location. Okay, so for that I'm have created a two functions one for struct data type one for array type first i'll explain array type then you'll get more clarity so this function first i'm importing all functions uh, from pyspark.sql.functions class and uh, i'm going to create one function called master array array this function mainly converting uh, array data type to normal data type flat running the data flat running the data so here, first I'll uh, take it in this data frame, I'll take a, a columns with the data types, that is a D types. Then I'll filter uh, only array data types. And those columns I'll take into one Python list. Then Python list is having some function called uh, length. So if you use a length function, it will, it, it will give you how many array columns in that list. So take that length and uh, use a while loop. If it is greater than zero, then use a for loop process one by one. Process one by one. So how to flat run array type using explode or explode outer? Explode or explode outer. I'm using explode outer and adding a new column that is flat running the data. Then that column will be done. Then I'm calling another function, the child function. Okay. So if you don't want to uh, convert a struct type to flat run the data uh, like a struct type means the next eight columns to normal columns then this function is not required then again we need to take latest columns then it will go with like this 
looping conditions because again this array calls will have a number of if it is zero next time if they if, if you don't have any array then it will exit the while loop that's all but in between i am calling another uh, function this is the function so this function uh, will pass again um, same nested uh, columns data type that is struct struct so here little bit uh, more process i added here so one is first we need to uh, convert take all this metadata and uh, empty tuple into one python list okay so that list will be having one empty tuple and uh, your metadata data frame metadata then i'll create another empty list this is empty list final output columns final output columns so this list i'll store final output columns this list will be having input columns input columns then i'll use a length function on top of this because if you have a, a python list this is a python list you say this then you can use a length function and go with a while loop then i'll remove one by one when it is processing right i need to remove i need to remove columns i need to remove columns from there so that for that if it is a, a python list python list is having a pop function to remove recently added item or recently added item in that list so then i'll take a metadata into one variable one variable then i'll take another variable so this will be having a metadata okay nothing but your data frame input data frame this data frame okay this data frame then that uh, it will remove one recent added one then it will go further so but here in this scenario recently i added item is this one so it will remove this that's why i added empty tuple then parents as another uh, variable mainly storing a uh, uh, key column information because we need to concatenate uh, columns with underscore with a uh, like if you have a consider goods under goods customers under goods orders so goods underscore customers will create another column goods underscore orders will create another column for this scenario i am going to take uh, existing columns existing columns with alias name with alias name i think but here other than non struct columns you say this other than other than struct columns so not equal to struct then i'll take all columns nothing but array or flatter and color anyway array we already flatter in there so now we can't find array here so like in normal columns you can find this that will take separate python list then struct columns will take into separate list so this list will have a struct columns this list will have a normal columns so that normal columns we need a final output right in this so i'll append that so here you see this then this struct columns you need to flat run so flat run one by one if you have more than one in here because the list will return more than one if you have more than one struct columns that again we need to loop and flat run again so how we will flat run struct columns so selecting that column name dot another column so that's called struct column dot inside whatever you have a child columns so using data frame then select and whatever the struct column dot star star means if you have more than one column here like you see this so inside goods customers is available orders is available so and the trade is available those these three columns will extract that so star means your nested column dot star then it will flatten and it will return a new data frame that data frame will have that so we need to take that uh, columns we need to take that columns and uh, whatever the uh, flat run column also we need to take that append okay we need to append that so that appending i am doing here with a uh, another uh, this list schema this list schema so that list schema is which one which we declared here then again it will go to the for while loop again it will remove the column then it will take the struct columns again then it will flat run one by one so this way which we can go with struct fields flat run array fields flat run flat running the data flat running the metadata array means data in array or you can say python list flat running data flat running metadata so these two columns finally i'll call a master this array uh, function input as a data frame then it will return a final data frame so these two functions okay so this function 
and this function. Okay, I will recreate this data frame again. It's already flat run. I'll show you the input now. This is the input. So once I'll convert into flat run, once I convert into structured format, your columns will be like this. In even you can verify the data. Even you can verify this data. You see this. So goods underscore trade, goods underscore order, goods underscore order. So again, it is having a two columns, order ID, order total. You see this. Order ID, order total. Ship, ship is another struct field. There again, another array column. There again, another struct field. So everything is flattened. Everything is flattened. You see this. Goods order ship to items quantity, order item quantity. Goods order ship to order item name and order total so this is item name item quantity order total okay so that this array and again it's a individual columns order id order total so this way which we can flatten nested data types and uh, like whatever you have a nested data or array data type whatever you have a struct data type we can flatten using these functions using this function so only you need to debug more into struct because struct is one column within that another column metadata is very important so for that reason here you can find a little more functions little more python list i have added here because we need to take metadata metadata because struct is metadata related so array is a data okay there's a difference between struct and array data type both are complex data types so this way which we can go with the flatter in the data okay so if you like this video please subscribe my channel see you in another video thank you have a good day